out of everything to be triggered by with the Saints Row reboot, we're really focusing on that aspect of it. Oh, internet, internet. I am going to jump on fully on board with the re I am triggered by the Saints Row reboot bandwagon. Who am I? I'm Mecca. I'm a consumer advocate here on YouTube. Mecca random 42 to all the new people. I will probably trigger everybody, but hey, stick around if you like the little punk rock rebel pirate radio sort of sort of side of the internet. I want to say the Saints Row reboot. All right. I do really, really like the Saints Row franchise. I did not play Gat Out of Hell, but I have spent about 60 hours playing Saints Row the third, probably another 70 in the fourth game, or that might be reversed. Can't remember. I have watched multiple Let's Plays of three and four also, as well as Gat Out of Hell. I kind of came in a little later. But correct me if I'm wrong with this. And uh, the, the reboot should be a little more, I don't know. Fun. Oh, and there's a lot of people triggered by this. I'm one of them, but maybe not for the reasons people might think. Now, I actually have played these games. Oh, and there's a lot today to unpack with the Saints Row reboot. Aha! Uh -huh. Officially announced at Gamescon. It has a release date and a trailer. For <laughs> first off, first off, hi! Huge Saints Row fan here. I'm gonna jump on the trigger train with this one because I noticed a few things missing. <laughs> And that's what I'm really going to focus today, more so than what they've either changed or what... Don't care. That's kind of irrelevant to why I'm upset. I'm upset because I watched the trailer and it lacked a lot of stuff that I really, really loved about the franchise. Unethical. As part of the Gamescon opening night, Deep Silver, we're going to watch some of the trailer too, and Deep Silver Voltion have now officially announced Saints Row, a new reboot for the franchise that sets in the fictional city of Santo Alesso. I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it completely wrong. So it's no longer Steelport in the American Southwest. So it's going to be probably closer to what? Vegas, Santa Fe, maybe. Maybe a Santa Fe. It's got Santo in it. The announcement trailer revealed that an all-new group called the Saints, forming and trying to make their own mark in a new area, are forming. R really, comicbook.com. Cause see, then I gotta go into my soundboard, find the proofread thing, hope my audio's on. Proofread your shit. And drop it in post if I don't actually have it on my soundboard, like a good little editor. The Saints are forming and trying to make their own mark. Yeah, it should be R R. A reboot announcement has been expected after a tease for Gamescon opening night implied that the Saints Row franchise would be rebooting. And you can check out the trailer. Oh, we we're going to talk about that. Don't know how much of this I can show you. I might have to edit this down quite a bit, but we're going to... Hmm. There you go. <laughs> Lower ourselves. Okay. Shoot an iron at the... So this looks like... This actually looks kind of like the flamingo outside the flamingo in Vegas with the, with the neon and the kind of swirly thing. Is that what they're going for? Like, well, they said Southwest. Dinosaurs. We got a big dinosaur. Like the Sinclair dinosaurs. Yay. Very Arizona looking now. Now I want to play Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Got eyes on the bar? Yes. Oh, these are tiny young people, aren't they? They're Zoomers. This is Zoomer Saints Row. There he comes. And I got the dealer. Nina, they're heading your way. Okay, so this basically... Oh, hey, Nina. So she's our new Kinsey? Or she's they're here. You should have eyes on the merchandise. I sure do. I can't tell if she's supposed to be like the nerdy chick who's the tech expert or, you know, some muscle or what. What are you guys thinking for dinner tonight? How about my whole thing is chili? Is he our new Johnny Yad of the series or is he, uh, what, what was his name? Nightwing? Matt Miller. Is he Matt Miller? Uh, all right. So we got big muscly dudes with scar tattoos and stuff. All right. It's a very, very normal of a Saints Row thing. I have watched the trailer through a couple of times, so I do kind of already know what I'm looking at. See, we need him for a startup. It's a criminal empire. I got it. <laughs> oh. Is 
he our new Pierce Washington? Is he gonna bounce like his checks did back in the day? Bounce like my checks did back in the day. All right, all right. I think we've seen enough of this. Let's skip through. I'm not seeing any of, I don't know, what made it really, really fun? I mean, these are new characters that we don't know, so maybe I just need to give them a shot. You should buckle up. something that would happen in three and four. Uh, Kevin! Uh, I'm coming! Uh, See, here's my issue with this. Here's my issue with this. And, oh, hello, hello, Ironheart. I guess Riri Williams is in this too. Um, my issue with a lot of this Where's Professor Yankee? Where's the penetrator? Where's the really outrageous? Where are the mascots? Where's the energy drinks? Where's super ethical reality climax? Where's the over the top hilarity that made this franchise different than Grand Theft Auto? Because right now, what I see is a bunch of people who look like they're cast members from the new CW Batwoman show or something riding around playing gangsta because the older kids were. That's what it feels like to me. And maybe, maybe this game will incorporate some of that. Let's see what else it's incorporating, shall we? Other than, oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, I did not, I wasn't, oh, I had it all full screen ready to go for you. Oh, oh, wow, wow. I take it that not everybody else was impressed. Maybe. Thank you so much for subscribing if you guys do like the content. Just bookmark the channel, YouTube. I'm surprised YouTube send you guys my videos. I upload and live stream pretty much every single day. I do something here, so. I, uh, all right, <laughs> thirty thousand. All right, thirty thousand down. Let's what they say. Let's see what they say. Witness the birth of the saints. Well, this isn't our saints because you got no Shandy. You don't even have fun Shandy. Where's fun Shandy? Meow, bitch. Where's fun? If this is gonna be like, where do we have any of these characters who are like, yeah, I just wanna, you know, have some recreational experiences from time to time and uh, smoke pussy every day. And have some fun. Where is Zemos? Where is Pimp Daddy with the voice changing auto tune microphone y staff thingy? That Shh, don't wake the bitches. Where are the races? Where are your race? But your horses? Oh, here's the fun part. They're not horses. They're people. They're people in full fetish. It's hilarious. Where is where is any of this in this game? I don't see any of it. And the fans, what do they say? What do they say? I feel old because this doesn't look like Saints Row. It looks like Fortnite, Fortnite made a GTA game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, it'd be crazy if the game just gave the customers what they want. Novel idea, I know. Fans are calling. The, oh, they're already calling the reboot too woke. Mm, I don't know if I would call it whoa. Here's here. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that in a much more Batman villain and aesthetically pleasing angle here. Saints Row fans are calling it too woke. That's just because they gave us this generic little, you know, trigger haircut. You know, the undercut where you have half of the hair shaved and a lot of the a lot of the, you know, 25% different quote unquote diversity characters do that. And I think a lot of the time people see that almost as a as a subconscious cue to assume something is woke because it just means lazy, lack of lack of caring, lack of trying to create a new character. So we're just going to put iron heart on screen for everybody and you know and and i'm only comparing because yeah the hoodie the jacket and the undercut really that's the only comparison i'm making here because i see there's a meme going around with like every every diversity character who all has kind of have their head shaved is it is it i don't know i mean she does look an awful lot like iron heart to me and every other yeah but that's just one character i really don't want to even give any attention to this oh it's two this and re 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 the problem I have with the Saints Row thing, we're not seeing Professor Genki, who's a giant freaking cartoon mascot head, right? Here, here's what I expect with Saints Row, you know, a guy looking like this, 
or in a bathrobe or, you know, you got Pierce and Shondi. Now, Pierce was pretty darn gay. Oh, my. In some of these, you have your character that you play as with a giant full on. Like, this is a Japanese game show where you basically shoot guys in hot dog costumes. You know, it's, it's hilarious. I absolutely love this. That was the charm of this game. It was sadistic. It was stupid. It was, it was so over the top. It was so over the top. I have a problem with it not being over the top. There was never an issue of quote unquote diversity, representation, yada, yada, yada. You're playing a gang of people who are homies because they're homies. You don't go in and count the quotas like some of these people do. But no, there's there's backlash and backlash. Saints Row Reboot faces huge fan backlash and the devs say they're not backing down. Of course you're not. And the trailer's smashed with dislikes here. Oh, there she is. There's Ironheart herself and the undercut. And I think it's a subconscious sort of cue. It's like a dog whistle to say, hey, we're lazy. We're lazy and we're putting basically, we're copying and pasting the same character. It's really just one of those lazy little dog whistles of, hey, we're too lazy. We're just going to copy like the same look that we give all these other characters because we don't know. Well, we don't know. We don't know how to write diversities. We're, you know, activists who've never seen a diversity in our life. That's why we have to speak on their behalf or something. That's what it really comes off as to me. It just comes off as lazy and kind of ignorant to keep making the same character over and over again. I don't even care at that point. That's not even the problem with the game. That is so not even the problem with the game. Because what I'm seeing is that it just looks like a lazy, watered-down, generic version of something that might as well just be Grand Theft Auto. Like, the whole point of playing Saints Row and not Grand Theft Auto was to have the over-the-top stuff, was to have the ridiculousness, was to have a dubstep gun so you could make people dance in the middle of the street. Because why not? I am Mecca, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! No one likes it when you shoot a panel and it's unethical!